Lower 2 Football Tenable, the series in which you're looking for the 10 different things related to the football category. And today, we're joined by Abs Busquets. How are you doing, mate? I'm listen, I'm more than fine, brother. How are you doing, actually, for a change? I just feel like the guests ask you yeah. sometimes. Yeah, they do overlook me a lot of the time. They're just, you know, here for their own ego. Um, but I'm glad you've asked me. I'm doing well. Man of the people, I am. Man of the people. Yeah. Okay, let's fire you in with this first category. And what I'd like you to name me are 10 sacked managers this season. Oof. Chelsea about got 15 themselves, didn't they? Is that last season? Nottingham Forest manager's name with the lovely eye bags. Uh, Mr. Cooper. Do you have a first name for Cooper? Steve Cooper, we have. Steve Cooper is terrible. Well done. Okay. He was uh, sacked. When was it? About December, I think. I think he was, yeah. I felt sorry for him. He got about 20 new players and then 20 more in the next season and yeah. they asked him to figure it out. Roy Hodgson has left. Yeah, Roy Hodgson is tenable. Very, very sad to see him go. But he is, oh. he is about 80, so let him have a yeah. bit of enjoyment in retirement. Please. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they'll call him back when he's 85. He's come in. Wilder's come in. But the fella before him, if I tell you his name, I think I get more than just him, boys. I think I get everything. I've got no chance with that fella's name. Let's have a look at another team. Sean Dyche came... Did he come in this season? No, he wouldn't He wouldn't have. I think he was already a manager this year. There's two more in the Premier League. I'll give you that. And then the rest are outside the Prem. Oh, this is 10 managers in general? Yeah, yeah. Any leagues. Any leagues? You had me scared. Because I'm like, I don't know how there's 10 in the Prem. Yeah, no, 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 there's not 10 in the Prem. Yeah. Okay, I want to get the team on that's in the Prem then. Got to think about teams. David Moyes is still in the job. Wolves. Oh, Hello, Wolves. No, he, he managed in the first game against us. Um, Gary O'Neill. He managed in the first game against us. I've covered it from like August onwards, if that makes sense. So like, not these guys who have just emotionally decided mm. to announce and leaving at the end of the year. All right, cool. Um, Jose's left Roma. Yep, that is uh, tenable. Uh, Hopefully, he comes back to the prem. Yeah, I would. I would mind seeing him Chelsea. Yeah, the third give, leg. Him, give him a go. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Spalletti, Napoli. Is he tenable? Was he sacked though? No, I think he left up. But, uh, yeah. he's done. He's too much of a nice guy, I've heard, actually. Mm. Uh, to yeah, pictures of him, I might skip guy, but he don't care. Somebody has been sacked from <laughs> Napoli, but not... Actually, there's two from Napoli that's been sacked this season, but not uh, Spalletti. He obviously took the Italy job. Is Walter Mazzari the manager right now, then? So who left before Walter Mazzari? Oh... Let's look to France as a PSG might notice Luis Enrique. Mm, you got any clues for me, Luke? Any, in here, any clues? You have said one of the names. Walter Mazzari? He is tenable. He was sacked on the full, uh, 19th of February. <laughs> oh, was, oh, I don't even know who Napoli's manager is right now, then. Francisco Calzona is the current Napoli manager, and he's also the Slovakia manager at the same time. Well, shout out to Frankie. Looks like he's got his play for. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. What country should we depart to next? I still want to get these prem, prem managers. I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling there. So one of them we know is that um, Sheffield United because we know Chris Wilder's taken over I just don't know the, the name of the fella before Heckenbottom that is his name well done poor Heckenbottom I'll give it you where has he grabbed that out Where's from? that? where's he pulled that from I don't know Heckenbottom I remember him at Barnsley and Leeds so even more painful times the remaining Premier League one is a bit of a stipulation you have kind of gone over it already I will give you that what have you stipulated like? so like they might not have managed the first game of the season but they might have done pre-season with the team then left mm -hmm. interesting Could I get the region in which this team is, is managed? The Midlands. Could go the West Midlands if you want. Oh, so so Lopetegui was managing mm -hmm. preseason? He was indeed. Hey. He was sacked on the... He didn't. He was sacked slash, like, didn't want to continue. Mutual consent. Yeah, from what I hear, he's still in Wolves. Yeah. Wolverhampton area, apparently, from what I hear. Yeah, yeah. He, he was looking at the Forest job when Cooper left, and then... Ah. I can't remember what else he was trying to get. I don't know if he was going for, like, a championship job, because that's literally all, all he can do at the minute. So, yeah, you haven't got any in the La Liga so far. Far, and you haven't got any in the Bundesliga. Can you tell he loves the Premier League? What a limited ball knowledge this is. I think you can get the Bundesliga got one because it's actually quite, I don't know, odd in a way. You should know it anyway. Why is it odd? Is it is it um Nagelsmann? It's not Nagelsmann, so there's another life gone. <laughs> he's been sacked, but he's still in the job. No, this is why. No, no, no. Rewind the tapes. I've asked you, these people who have, they were, they were leaving at the end of the season, do they count? The Shabby's of the world, the two shows of the world, do they count? Because Xavi's not been sacked, he's just kind of said that he's leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas two Shell's a little bit of a different one, I'd say. All right then, Luke. You yeah, Thomas Mitchell then. All right then. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't say Klopp's been sacked, have you? You know, he's going at the end of the season, but he's not, he's not sacked. Do you know what? Fair enough. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you that's fair enough. Yeah, Tuchel's not doing well enough. There's a few in France, if you know your, your Marseilles and Lyons. No, I no, don't think no. I've 
No. no. Let me just have a think of anyone else that's been sacked in the footballing world. Uh, Wayne Rooney's been sacked now. Yeah, Wayne Rooney. There's a good one in Championship. Can you name the manager that Rooney took the job from? Oh, wait, by the way, Troy Deeney was sacked as well. He was indeed from uh, Forest Green Rovers. There's a good one. And he needed one it more. I need one more. Yeah. Uh, Birmingham. Who is Birmingham's manager? I'm trying to think <laughs> how you'd know him. He's back in management and he was on TV the other night in the FA Cup. He was on Punditry in the FA Cup. No, he wasn't on Punditry. He was actually managing another team in the FA Cup. Hey? Eh? could even give you the team to be honest i'll give you this blackburn against newcastle do you know the blackburn manager yeah good question man yeah man yeah i know that manager when they won the premier league i mean that's what i know that manager down there yeah in the late 90s kenny dalglish yeah good old kenny but um yeah that one is not happening no so let's think about other people who we know has been mm. sacked there's big ones in the french league like they're big footballers that you definitely know that have become managers one has played for man united got sacked in september and then there's a couple of italians in the french league there's your final clues and i mean he's he's had a little bit of success this one at least i think we'll shout out him yeah 75 appearances for man united this player flash in the pan two seasons man. Mm -hmm. did he win anything on now at man united at man united he won the premier league yeah it's kind of standard around here you walk through the door you better have a prem when you walk out do you know what i mean mm -hmm. i've got no clue with this united player i'll go Sylvester. so michael Sylvester. i guess he went a bit blank it's uh lauren <laughs> blanc you just told me former psg manager now that would have been helpful <laughs> Yeah, maybe, but that's a little bit too much of a clue. We'll deal with that. Nine out of ten. The other ones you could have said, uh, Fabio Grosso at Leon. That's kind of when it went yeah, a little bit wrong. Yeah, he got lobbed, something got lobbed at his head, didn't it? Yep, yep, yep. And then Gennaro Cattuso has been sat by Marseille recently, last couple of weeks. I don't think there's anything really in the Spanish league that's like Diego Alonso at Sevilla, former Barcelona manager, Set Seten, or whatever his name is. Yeah, Setien. Setien, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. He got sat by Villarreal. The one you were looking at from previously at Birmingham was John Eustace, is the man. Oh, yeah, yeah. good on. Played a lot of games at Derby back in the day. Back in yeah. there. Nine out of ten. Not bad for your first round. Let's go to the next one. This, I'd say, is updated before this game week. Right. Currently, today speaking, as I've got it right in front of my list, nothing else other than the list in front of me matters. Mm -hmm. The top ten Premier League players with the most assists in this current season. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm enjoying the Prem, but I'm not, like, edging my seat. Problem is, De Bruyne has been injured for a while. That is my main that issue. Is confirm is a fact. Let me start off with... Let's try off with Trent to start things off. Is Trent up there? I don't know why I've gone for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Yeah, he absolutely isn't. Thank no, you. No. Yeah, it doesn't count, unfortunately, no. But it's, it's, good. it's good. It's a good thought process. I like the thought process. Not really, I'll give you that. Not really. In League One at the minute, Derby have Nathaniel Mendes-Lang with the most assists in the league. And that's... Well, shout out Nathaniel Mendes-Lang, yeah. but he's not got the top 10 in the Premier League, unfortunately. So he's not tenable. He's got no neck, but he's got a massive... <laughs> that's his chant. Oh, that's brilliant. Let's go for a bit of... Uh, Bernardo Silva, surely. Imagine two lives gone really? in the first two. Yeah, yeah. It's a good start, man. Mm -hmm. It's any, a good start. Any clues? Any clues? You had the right idea on the concept of who's passing to the people who you know are mm. high goals. The names have been wrong. The idea might be right. So, so you've you thought of the people who are passing to the top goal scorers? Mm -hmm. The top goal scorers might be all right at assisting as well. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering with like Salah. Can we go for him, Mo Salah. Please go for him, mate, because yeah. he is tenable. My goat. What a man. I know that Ollie Watkins has a lot of contributions this season, but would he be up there for assists? It's probably goals and then like five or six assists. I think he's on like 20 contributions at the minute. I just can't believe Bernardo Silva's not up there. What's he doing? What he's doing is too busy controlling games and, and making oppositions look silly instead yeah. of actually getting on the stat sheet. Underrated. No, sensationally underrated. What a footballer. Weirdly, I want to say like Cole Palmer or Sterling. I don't know why. Again, Chelsea not doing that well, but they're up there. Maybe Youngman's son, but he did go to Asia Cup for a bit. Maybe just overthinking it maybe it's just like De Bruyne up there and whatnot oh my god I didn't think this would this would be that bad nah I just don't pay it to, I honestly the prime at the minute I'm just not really paying it. I'm, I'm I too hear it. I think, I know, yeah, listen and, and to be honest you're not our front we're not interested in the prime it can get a bit rubbish mm. there are a couple odd balls in here there are people who started the season on fire and are still in and amongst it making me think Evan Ferguson and why would he assist or like Pascal yeah. Gross someone like that too, too many answers that's the problem too many people yeah, I, 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 you've said two out yeah. of the many thousand 
apologies of me that he said already that are on Brilliant. the list. Surely. I, d I don't know how De Bruyne could be on there with the injury. That's that's what I can't. Surely can't be that good that he's come back and already got in the top 10. Oh, let's just say oh, De Bruyne. Get him on. Oh, what a shame. I was praying you didn't say it. No. Unfortunately, Kevin De Bruyne has not been the wizard, the inevitable monster that was necessary. Bring me through the top 10 then. We got Salah, Ollie Watkins, Pedro Neto, Kieran Trippier, Julian Alvarez, Anthony Alanga, Phil Foden, Pascal Gross, Darwin Nunes, Pedro Porra, Bukayo Saka, James Rob Prowse, oh, all these kind of guys. Yeah. I mean, Anthony Alanga on there is quite interesting. I knew that is actually. Shut up. He's doing well. He's doing well at the Forest. I mean, I feel like I feel like Man United could have maybe done with him staying, but well, no, long term um, maybe not, but for this season, maybe for this season, and yeah, we could have kept the regular and all this kind of stuff, but alas, Manchester United are extremely quizzical. Mm, yeah, just a bit, but yeah, one point for me, not the best start. Your next tenable category, what I'd like you to name me, are the outfield 10 from Manchester United's 2017 League Cup final. Oh, do you know what I'd hope you said? The Europa League final. No, nah, Europa League's way too easy. That one's... That one's a bit too easy. Yeah. Right, Rojo's, Rojo's in that lineup. Marcus Rojo is left back. That is tenable. Well done. Eric Bailly is in that lineup. He is indeed. Next to somebody else. It's about to see who yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Almost. I almost got you. Yeah. You know who played really well in this game? Yeah. Manolo Gabbiadini. Yeah, he did play for Man United though, does he? No, he doesn't. No, but he's got two goals against them. Zlatan was in that lineup. Um, Herrera was in that lineup. Romero was in goal. But you don't care about that because you said starting 10. Yeah, that's not right either. But yeah, carry on. Is uh, Gui Damian? Ooh, Damian is not tenable. There's your first life gone. All so far. Lingard, because he got, got a goal assist, didn't he? Jesse Lingard is tenable. Well done. Let's get Rashford out there. Marcus Rashford is not tenable. He didn't start the game. What? Oh! Oh That's why I chose this one because it's so fruity. It is a bit of a fruity yeah. lineup, isn't it? Right, let's go for midfield. Pop wasn't playing. Pop definitely wasn't playing. Was Wasser playing? Was Carrick playing? No. Stop your mind thinking. Was it the days where you used to do the worst midfield of Carrick and Fellini? Goodness gracious me. You got under Herrera at least. So Yeah, under there. Love mm. under. Great runner. He does love it, doesn't he? So you're looking for your wingers, your central midfielder, your centre back, and your right back. You said central midfielder because Lingard and Herrera played in midfield. Is who they played with. I'd say Lingard is like attacking mid behind the strike. attacking mm. mid and we had a double hit but Herrera and someone else. Yeah. It's about if it's Smalling or Lindelof as well in my mind. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I'm not, it's not, it's not, hey, 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 I'm not locking this in. I'm just letting my mind wander. Mm -hmm. I think it was Ashley Young and I think it was either Smalling or Lindelof. Who that midfielder was is crazy. And I have two wingers. Yep. Who played on that right hand side? See, this is what I'm saying. Do you know what messes with my mind? The FA Cup and the Europa League because Mata played and Wayne Rooney played in the FA Cup. Did Juan play in this game. This is 2017. Yeah, Juan Mata. Juan Mata is tenable. He is on the right hand side. Well done. Juan Mata's on the right hand side and I think Martial's on the left and I think the right back's actually young and I think the centre half is either Smalling or Lindelof and I think the midfielder is Carrick or Fellaini. So let's go for the ones that we're sure of. Ashley Young, is he tenable? Ashley Young is not tenable. He is not in the... Oh, it was Valencia. It was Valencia right back. Oh. That's a shame. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's just be clear. Was it Martial? Martial on the uh, left, yeah. On the left. Was it Carrick? Not Carrick. Was it Fellaini? Not Fellaini. Oh, it was bloody Matic then. Was it Matic? <laughs> Was it then? Paul Pogba. Pogba didn't play this game. He I'm did. Sorry, he did. He did play full, full, full minutes. He played four minutes. No, full, full, all the game. I was about to say yeah, yeah. four no, minutes. No. I would have remembered that. I was about to say you're changing history in my mind. And then captain um, for the day at centre back. Smalling. Yeah, why don't you say him? Because you'll have him or Lindelof. He liked the Lindelof. Yeah. He signed. Off. But he was he was injured he was injured he must have. Been. But that was so fun man that was like uh, scratching an itch in my brain. Though, yeah, you know? that was a tricky one. But yeah, you do get well, like uh, six for that category, so it puts you very nicely into the lead. Fifteen. Yeah, good maths. Mr. Pingu. Yep. How do you do? But are you more a fan of La Liga than the Prem? Prem, for sure. Yeah, that's too tough. Because yeah, what I need from you, sorry, brother. Since 2000, yep. the Pichichi Award, which is the goal, top goal scorer in La Liga. The top 10 La Liga goal scorers. From, yeah, since 2000. Yeah, yeah, whoever's won it. The, like, Bob's your uncle? Yep. You understand. Let's get two on the board straight away. Lionel Messi Back and uh, Cristiano. 
Ronaldo. Yep, bang bang. Yep. Bang bang. And then we'll go Karim Benzema. Is tenable. Oh, he is actually tenable. To be honest, I wouldn't be shocked if that wasn't season. actually actually on there, to be fair. Yeah, to 21, 20, 22 season, uh, that was the crazy season that he, that he did incredibly well. Yeah, one season wonder. Crazy statement. That's a like mental statement. I just know it would trigger a lot of people, so it's just funny. I'm trying to think of some older pre, pre Messi and Ronaldo since he said since you got your Rowls and R9s, would they be up there, surely? Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to say, uh, Samuel Eto. I just, I just love, I genuinely love this about you. I love Good the ball. fact that you can, Yeah, let me go for someone over there, over there. I know where this one comes out of it, but I can now confirm to you, Samuel Eto, unfortunately, is tenable. He is. Craziest tenable. transfer of all time with him and Ebra. Oh, uh, crazy. Mental. That was an interesting one. Why is it an interesting one, Luke? Talk to me. I just feel like he's, he's a good scorer, but it, did he get like top in the league could go like David Villa good seasons at Valencia and Barca you could go David Villa or I could go Luis Suarez let's get him on there bang bang okay. surely surely we know that Luis Suarez is there absolutely it's good listen getting a golden boot in the years when Messi and Ronaldo exactly, are, exactly. Are playing is a joke by the way what a joke mm -hmm. Proper he can do it Norwich you know he can <laughs> he can score yeah against. Norwich a lot apparently Norwich a lot. Norwich Stadium. What was it called? Carrow Road. Carrow Road. Uh, yeah. I've presented there. Charity match. Was Delia there? No, she wasn't there. I asked her, where are you? But she didn't answer. Yeah. Let's try Raul. Well, you've gone for it, you know. Yeah, no. And Ooh. Raul did win in 1998. 99. Oh, no, 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 no. Lovely. Yeah, just before. But also won it in 2000 and 2001. He is tenable. Absolute jeopardy there. Pulling, pulling the rug yeah, under me. Do I say R9? He was good at Real Madrid, but was he like banging 20, 25, 30? Yeah, go on then. R9. R9 did win the golden boot in La Liga for Barcelona in 1996 97. Lovely. But also won it for Madrid in 2003. Oh, he's terrible! All right, Ronaldo. We got them. Three, six, seven. Three more. What are the years I'm looking for? You're looking at the early 2000s? Yeah. You're looking at the early 2000s. You're looking at, obviously, last season, if you want, as well. I know you thought about it, and you know you, you clearly haven't. You know what I mean? But we can forget that. We can forget that. Let's look at the early 2000s, and let's talk about former Manchester United players. We've got a couple of former Manchester United players in here. Lincoln Forlan. Would Forlan for uh, Villarreal be up there? Yeah, go on, then. Diego for them. He wouldn't just be up there for Villarreal. He'd be there for Atletico Madrid as well in two seasons that he won it. He is tenable! I, I, I don't know why I completely forgot about his Atletico Madrid time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, him, yeah. him in a yellow shirt to me sticks out more. It does. It does. Absolutely. So now I'm thinking early 2000s. It's like David Villa, Fernando Morientes or... What else? Who else bagged goals? Yeah, do you know what? I say David Villa. Well, there's your first life gone. Yeah. But that was, that, that was it. That was, yeah. Is there a bit of a funny name on it if you look in retrospect, like him getting it and then what he did after maybe in the Premier League? I don't know if I'm asking too many clues there. I don't, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm thinking. I just as a throwaway. <laughs> Roberto Soldado was the one. Yeah. You've lost your whole mind. Thank God you didn't love that. Lost your whole mind. Don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> but like, I was thinking, like, if Spurs are going to spend like. 30, he did, no, no, genuinely, no. Yeah. He did have crazy goal scoring before mm -hmm. he came to the Premier yeah, yeah. Let's say Fernando Morientes. Fernando Morientes is not tenable. Now, I will say there's another former Manchester United player that you've forgotten about who is synonymous with goals. Would be a bit rude if I forgot him, wouldn't it? What? Is he tenable? Mr. Rudy Van is tenable. Lovely. And there we go. That's the full 10. So you didn't get a full 10, so I win the episode. There we go. Hopefully you did enjoy that joke. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 let's not do that. So there's another couple of names that would have been within the region that yep. would have been fun for you to get there. Diego Tristan and Roy Mackay. The of a oh, Roy Mackay. That's a great one. Yeah. I always well, shout about Roy Mackay to other people and then I forget it myself when I need to say his I, name. I think I watched an episode, just the last one, just mm -hmm. the last episode, where you mentioned Roy Mackay. Yeah. You said kind of... Uh, uh, <laughs> A tenable cult hero, if you would. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's there. He's a good man. Yeah, yeah. And we've got um, Danny Guiza. Mm -hmm. But yeah, other than that, you smashed it. And the one that you didn't want to think about last season, he, like, even though he is known for his goals, you wouldn't mm -hmm. have thought Robert Lewandowski what got the golden boot last year, but he did. Yeah, I mean, it makes kind of sense, but at the same time, it's... Uh... I think he's had a great time at Barca, even though he's got a golden boot already in his first season. Yeah, yeah. Right, your final tenable category... 
what I'd like to name me our players to score a hat trick in this Premier League season. Adebayo from Luton. A brilliant place to start. That is tenable. Cunha. Yep, both tenable. I think has only got a hat trick this year. Oh, Foden, Brentford. Phil Foden is tenable. Filling in this tenable category. <laughs> oh. Eddie and Ketia. Eddie and against Sheffield United is tenable. Well done. Yes, against Sheffield. Shout out my boy Eddie. Mm -hmm. Who else has got a hat trick? The other top goal scorers in the league. Ollie Watkins wouldn't have had a hat trick this year. I don't want to say he's got a lot of goals, but I just don't think he's got a hat trick. Mm. I think he's got. Are you going to tell me now that I've said someone's name? It? Potentially. 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 Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Chris Wood, João Pedro, Evan Ferguson was that this year? That was last year. All I'm trying to picture is someone walking off at the match. Bro. You have said that some some names so far. Some potential name, more mm, than one. Yeah, potentially. I hate that five minutes after because I've said sixty two thousand names. Yeah, that's why I do it. I don't want to say it right after you say the name. Oh, yeah, that would that would be defeating yeah. the purpose. It would be defeating the purpose now that we think about it. Yeah. But the problem is, is that I just went for a list of guys I was just knocking up. So. Mm. You're missing one from this calendar year. You got the other two, uh, other three, sorry, and Foden, Cunha, and Adebayo. This calendar year. Yeah, it was a Monday night game. One scored a hat trick. On the Monday night. Hmm. Hello. Someone scored a hat trick on Boxing Day. We played Villa on Boxing Day. Garnacho got two and Hoyland got one. But let's think about what happened in the rest of the Premier League. Mm. There is a hat trick in a game that involved a few red cards. Tom and Chelsea, when they went to 99. Who scored the hat trick? Can't have been Nicker Jackson. Got about 62 million chances, but I don't think he got a hat trick. I remember that game just being so chaotic. Why was there a line between this? It was like this the gap between the midfielders and the defenders in the front line. And you said, mate, as long as I'm here, mate, this here we're going to play football, mate. We're playing a whole line. Suicide football, man. It's going to happen whether you like it or not, man. And to be fair, he stuck by his principles. Yeah. Got respect. Yeah, yeah. So Nicholas Jackson's got one. Just yeah, me. Nicholas Jackson is terrible. Well done. <laughs> a team conceded back to back hat tricks, if that makes sense. So the t same team conceded back to back hat tricks. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's completely wrong. Ignore that. They conceded a hat trick, then their team scored a hat trick. That's what I meant to say. Ah, oh, I have a feeling full and slap someone 5 0. Is Raul Jimenez tenable? Raul Jimenez is not tenable. No, I'll beat you there. Yeah, you have to be. Yeah, fair. yep. Uh, is Hyung Min Son tenable? Hyung Min Son is tenable. He did score a hat trick against Burnley. Burnley! Yep. Oh, Start of the season. Good. There was another two hat tricks on that day that Sun scored a hat trick. On the 2nd of September. Uh, I think maybe you think I'm a database? Yeah, maybe. 2nd of September, open up the farm. <laughs> yeah. Someone um, has scored against their former club a hat trick. They love a, they love a good former club. Mm. They love them. Something's making me think Raheem Sterling, Chelsea versus City. Because that game was 4 4. Raheem Sterling is tenable. Raheem Sterling is not tenable. I know Cole Palmer scored in that game to make it 4 4. He did, he did, he did, he did. And then did, did, did. probably. Nicholas Jackson brace, something like that. You know, he's a great player. Yeah, you're loving Nicholas Jackson. What, is he your guy? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Just make his job, man. I didn't get a feeling out right there. Man. Mm -hmm. oh, 8 and 23 is not bad for a season in the Prem. No, no, it's genuinely not. Genuinely, all just yeah. that. It's not. No, no. It's not. You said a really rogue name that you didn't put forwards. Somebody scored a hat trick. I just didn't expect you to say this guy's name. There's Raul Pedro, Danny Will. I said so many names, Luke. Yep, yep, yep. He's not from Europe. He's not from Europe. Mm hmm. And I've said his name. Yep. Where does he play in the Midlands again? Yeah, yeah, he does actually. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Could be West, could be East. One of the Midlands, anyway. Has Ollie Watkins got a hat trick, bro? I don't even know. Has Solanke got a. Solanke? Uh, is he tenable? Dominic Solanke against Nottingham Forest is tenable. How has he pulled that one out of a hat? No oh, name he's said before, yeah. but Dominic Solanke is a great striker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, Brian and Burma was carrying Brentford, but was he carrying him to hat tricks? But there's some big names on here. There are some big names on here. Mm. Why is my mind not moving off? I don't know. Early just say one of those two, maybe. Can I find a friend? No, no. Uh, I don't know who wants to be a millionaire anymore. Um, give me Erling Haaland! Haaland is tenable. Well done. Discord. Oh, oh, oh. 2nd of September against Wolves. No, it wasn't. It was Fulham. It was Fulham. Ignore me. Two more to go. Yep. I'm going to go for... I'm happy with the amount that I've got so far. Yep. So I'm just going to go for... Um, Cameron Archer. Cameron Archer it's for Sheffield I'm... United is not tenable. And that's your final one. Yeah, why were you You're... laughing as soon as I'm saying It's my last time. I turned to go for some free. You told me what a rogue name. I thought that was the name. <laughs> the rogue name is not from Europe. Not North America. Not South America. They play in the Asia Cup. This nation. It's not old. It's new. Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Chris Woods is the name that you did say. I said Chris Wood though, man. I know, but you didn't you didn't put it forward oh, as a and as an answer. Yeah. You're right. It was one of the rogue names. I said Chris Wood yeah. because he's a fantastic striker. Who did he fit hat trick against? Newcastle. That's that was that was the one where he scored oh, against his old club. Is that all way he on his left foot? Yeah, yeah. 
I think he did a perfect oh, hat trick, wasn't it? Something like it that. It was a beautiful hat trick, man. Yeah. I remember it. Most recent one was Gerald Bowen against Brentford on the Monday night. Then you have got Ollie Watkins scored a hat trick against Brighton in a 6 1 win. Oh, uh, I said all these names. Yeah. Evan Ferguson also scored a hat trick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think that's all the ones you were missing, to be fair, so not not awful. You did all right. That's really nice enough. Mm -hmm. And we'll see about how difficult my question is. Yep, go on then, fire away. Like, it's, it's not really like, obviously, you told me your preferences may not be the Premier League, you may not be Spain. How about World Cups? No one can say no to World Cups, can they? Not really. What What's the category? Top 10 goal scorers in World Cup history. History? Let's start off with Miroslav Klose. Well, how about starting right at the top? Yep. He's not just general. That's number one. Can't get closer to the top than that. Let's go for the man that won a couple, runner-up in another, R9. R9, second on my list. Yep. Let's go Lionel Messi. He is on my list. He is the fifth name down. Cool. Would Cristiano have the goals in a World Cup? Probably. That's a question. Yeah. Go on then, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is not tenable. Really? Oh, not. What a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> he is down at 26. Jesus. I bet like David Nugent's got more than that. He's got eight World Cup goals. Only eight. Yeah. So eight's 26. Oh, hey, 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 yeah. hey, 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 calculator. Hey, calculator. So we need at least at least 10 goals. I could say a few Golden Boot winners over the years. There's like a Davos Suka or a Gary Lineker, but like they've only probably been at like one, maybe two World Cups. So it's like, would they be there? And then you've got some old blokes like Pele and Nusei. UBO and Johan Cruyff. And then you've got like Gerd Muller, scored a few. Rudy Voller as well. Let's try, since he was at a few, Pele. Pele is what you've gone for. Yep. And he's tenable! Lovely. Is there any names that are a bit dodgy, if that makes sense? Like, is there a... It's about three dodgy names. Yeah, that's what I mean. This... By dodgy, what I mean is, who the hell are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder if the Spanish Luis Suarez is on there, something like that, like those old ones. Let's try a bit of Gary Lineker. Go on. Golden Boot winner. Gary Lineker. There are other players who have got to 10 goals in fewer games than Gary Lineker. So although he is in there mathematically, he's I mean, unfortunately not tenable. I think he's saving you then. Jeff Hurst didn't really score anything other than the final. I wonder, even though he's only just come onto the scene, good old Mbappe. So he scored a hat trick in the final. Yeah, go on then. Gillian Mbappe. Fantastic. Trusted your instincts, and he most certainly is tenable with 12 World Cup goals. So I need to move. Move to Madrid, mate. Come on. Genuinely, please. Make things interesting. I really want to say Gerd Muller, but I don't know why. Gerd Muller was more league football, I think. He did much for West Germany. Might be a few Brazilians, actually, just because they go to every World Cup. Would Neymar, again, got the injury in 2014. Yeah, go on then, Neymar. No. 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 Final no. life. No. Let me know the uh, remaining top 10. Gerd Muller was third in my list. Brilliant. Just didn't want to say Gerd Muller. Just, uh, an allergic reaction to him? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, must be. Muller corners don't like him. Actually love him. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Jurgen Klinsmann out. I didn't, if I knew you on your last left, I would have said former Spurs manager. My apologies. Yeah. A couple of German fellas mm -hmm. in here. The Mullers, the Klinsmanns, the um, Helmut Rahn. We've got um, Hungary's Sandor Coxis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good old Sandor. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Just Fontaine. Yeah, Just Fontaine. I think it's what Claire Fontaine is named after. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Not bad. I mean, I'd take, take the five that I got for that. They were the tap-ins. But yeah, you do win the episode, Ab. Well done. If you haven't already, make sure you do check out Ab. Drop him a uh, follow and all that good stuff. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.